वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन दी बेल आइकन टू रिसीव द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दी अपकमिंग वीडियोज I'm going to solve this problem for 88. In this problem, it is said that neglecting the size of the ball, determine the magnitude v a, that is the initial velocity at this point a, of the basketball's initial velocity and its velocity when it passes through the basket. Right. So we have to find the initial velocity at this point and we have to find the velocity at this point b. So to solve uh, to solve this kind of problems, that is the projectile motion. First, we have to define our coordinate system, right? So let me define my coordinate system. So let's say that at this point, when the ball is initially in the hands of the thrower, let's say that is our origin, right? So I will define my origin here. So this is our coordinate system, right? so this is the initial position of the ball right so the initial position of the ball is at the origin of this coordinate system right so this is plus x and this is plus y right so this means that x not equals to 0 and y not equals to 0 right and this will va will have two components so one component will be acting along x so that will be va x and that is the cos component right so we can write that this will be va cos of this angle is given this angle is 30 right so we will write this as 30 and then this va will have the another component that is acting along y so this component will be va y and this will be va sin of 30 degrees and similarly we are asked to find the velocity at this point v so the velocity at point b will be tangent to this point right so if i draw that velocity so this will be that velocity vector right and this velocity vector will have two components as well so one component will be in this direction so let's say that this velocity at point b is vb so then this will be vbx and then this will be vby so we have to find this vb and we have to find this va and if we uh if the ball reaches at this point b so what will be the coordinates of this point b from this origin right so the coordinates of this point b will be uh, in in the x direction this point b is at a distance of 10 meters right so we can write the coordinates of this point b is 10 meters and in the y direction this this is the distance from the origin right so this distance will be this 3 minus 2 right so this is 1 right so from the origin this b is at a distance of 1 meters along y and this b is at a distance of 10 meters along x right so these are the coordinates of point b so this means that the final position in x is 10 meters and the final position in y direction is 1 meters right so now if we look into the horizontal motion so in horizontal motion x is equal to x not and that will be plus v a x into t or we can write that x and we know x right so x a the x is 10 meters right so i will write 10 x not is 0 right and v a x is v a cos of 30 degrees right and this will be multiplied with t since t and v a both are unknown but we can find the product of v a and t right so i can write that v a into t will be equal to 10 divided by cos of 30 degrees so uh, now we have this product right so we do not know t we do not know v a but we have this product right so let's say this is equation 1 right now if we apply the vertical motion equation right so we have this equation y the final position is equal to the initial position plus v a y into t minus half g t square right so i will write g t square and if this is our positive y direction so g acceleration due to gravity is acting in the negative y direction right so that is why we will use minus g remember right so we know why which is 1 meter right so i will write 1 y not is 0 v a y is v a sin of theta into t right so we can write v a sin of 30 degrees 
into t right so if i write t here or if i write t here right so that doesn't matter right so v a t sine of 30 degrees minus half this will be 9.81 into t square right so this will be 1 equals to v a t so now we know this product right so v a t is 11.55 sine of 30 degrees and this will be 9.81 divided by 2. So, now in this equation only t is unknown. So, we can find this t right. So, to find this t we can write that uh, so this will be equal to 1 minus 11.55 sin of 30 degrees equal to minus uh, 4.905 t square or we can write that t square will be equal to 1 minus 11.55 sin of 30 degree divided by minus 4.905 and if we take the square root so that will give us t. So, this t comes out to be 0.987 seconds right. So, now this basketball takes 0 0.987 sec uh, seconds to reach this point B right. So, now we have this time. So, we now we can find V A using this equation 1 right. So, V A will be equal to 11.55 divided by 0 0.987. V A comes out to be 11.71 meter per second. Now, to find the velocity at uh, point B, we can use this equation right. So, V B the final velocity at B will be the if we apply the uh, vertical motion equation right. So, V B Y will be equal to V A Y and this will be minus g a g t right. So, v b y will be v b uh, let me find just v b y right. So, v b y will be equal to v a y is v a sin of 30 degrees minus 9.81 into 0 0.987 right. So, we can find now we know this v a as well right. So, v a is 11.71. So, this will give us the velocity component at point B in the y direction right. So, this will be V B y. So, this is the magnitude of uh, V B component in the y direction right. So, this is minus 3.827 right. So, this means that V B y is acting in the negative y direction right. And now, uh, as we know that the velocity component in the horizontal direction is always constant right. So, we can write that V B x will be equal to V A x and that will be 11.71 cos of 30 degrees and this is V A right. V B x is equal to 10.14 meter per second using uh, this V B Y we can find the velocity magnitude at point B right. So, we can write that this V B Y will be V B sin of theta equals to minus 3.827 right, but this theta is theta at B right. So, we do not know this theta yet right. So, we we need to find this theta. So, now if you look into this diagram right. So, if I draw this diagram. So, this is our V B this is V B x and this is V B y or uh, we can write v, uh, draw V B y here as well. So, this is theta at point B. So, we can find this theta at point B right. So, if if we write that tan theta B using this triangle. So, tan theta B will be V B y divided by V B x right. So, if we know the magnitudes of V B x and V B y. So, we can find tan theta right. 
So, V B Y is minus 3.827 divided by 10.14. So, this will give us theta B. So, theta B will be equal to 10 inverse of this same ratio. So, theta B comes out to be minus 20.67, right. So, this minus means that this uh, angle is with the positive x axis, but this angle is measured in the clockwise direction, right. So, this is the, this angle, right. So, this is theta B. So, now we have this theta B. So, we can find V B magnitude, right. So, V B will be equal to minus 3.827 sine of minus 20.67. So, V B magnitude is equal to 10.84 meter per second. So, this is the solution of this problem fell 88.